Welcome back to the Authority Control Class. This week we're going to talk a little bit more about authority records, which we have referenced in the previous weeks. Uh, authority records are um, a record, or each authority record is a record for any authorized access point that, and all the records together make up an authority file. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about which fields in the bibliographic record need authority control and therefore should clue you in that you need to look for an authority record to find an authorized access point. Um, the first category of fields in a bibliographic record that need authority control are names. Um, these can be personal names, so the name of a person, whether it's the author or the subject of a biography, for example, um, anything that's the name of a person. Um, there can also be corporate names. Um, these are names of organizations generally. Um, obviously, since they're called corporate, they can be businesses, um, things like that. Uh, so, or they could be uh, professional organizations. The American Library Association would be a corporate heading. Uh, in terms of library speak, um, even groups like musical groups are considered to be corporate names because they're a group of people rather than just one person. And there also can be conference names. This you'll see more infrequently than the others, but if you are cataloging, say, the proceedings of a particular conference or presentations that occur at a conference, there are cases in which you'll need to add an access point for the name of a meeting. You would also want to perform authority control and therefore look for an authority record for subject headings um, outside of the other categories we talked about, like personal names, which can also be subjects. Uh, you would want to look for topical subject headings. So these are any nouns, basically non-proper nouns, um, either for concrete items like chairs or for abstract concepts like love, for example. Those are topical headings. And geographic headings also do need authority control, so names of cities, countries, states, so on and so forth, anything that's a geographic name that also needs authority control and authority records do exist for those headings. Series information also can require authority control. Um, if you have a series where the name of the series itself may appear differently on each item in the series, you want to bring all these items together under one authorized series title and so there are authority records that exist for series titles. And finally, preferred titles um, are something that you would want to look for when you're doing authority control. Um, under older terms, under AACR2, the previous cataloging rules, these were called uniform titles. In RDA speak, it's preferred titles. But either way, these are titles that are used to uh, either bring together multiple versions of a work. So if you had, for example, classic works have preferred titles a lot. You had, say, Hamlet by uh, William Shakespeare, and then you had the English version and the French version and one of the movies versions versus the actual script, and um, you wanted to bring it all together in one field, usually in a either a 130 or a 240 mark field. Um, that's called a preferred title, then you would need to look up an authority record for that so you could see how everybody else was referring to this particular work. So those are the pieces of information and the fields in a bibliographic record that require authority control and which should let you know that you need to look for an authority record in an authority file.